It's finally time to talk about my ECPPT exam experience and sort of my walkthrough and process of what was going on during that week. Now obviously my memory will be a bit hazy as it has been a long time since I took that exam and I don't want to include any exam spoilers, but I will do my best to describe the exam and my process. Day 1, February 14th. I started off the evening with a nice romantic Valentine's dinner at Taco Bell with two close friends. The exam kicks off at 9.28 p.m. and I have nothing but my wits, skills, and six sugar-free amp energy drinks to help me. A lot of enumeration and understanding of the network and externally facing systems. Some planning, but I've never been great about that. Finally, there were tons of screenshots taken and Evernote is my real hero. Day 2. Some progress as of 24 hours and 3 energy drinks in with 144 hours and three energy drinks remaining, but it was too early to tell. According to the VM timer, I spent around 10 plus hours in the environment this day and didn't get too burnt out yet. Day three, I made a bit more progress and a lot more frustration as of 48 hours and four energy drinks in, but I had a lot more to go. Day five, after 76 hours and five energy drinks, I did not make any more progress other than increased frustrations. At this point, I start to go back over everything, both network and lab-wise, to try to decide what I might be missing or forgetting. Additionally, I'm taking screenshots and noting everything down to prepare for my report. This is also the point where I start trying to randomly brute force everything, which was not the best solution. On day six, with 122 hours and six energy drinks in, with 46 hours of four energy drinks, thanks to a friend, remaining, I'm making some progress again. Always remember that there are multiple ways to attack something, as well as different payloads. This was something that caused me no shortage of frustration. Try more than one payload next time. All that I have left at this point is some custom exploit development and the demilitarized zone target. Day six nighttime slash day seven morning. The custom exploit development went along without too many hitches and with a pretty interesting solution, which shouldn't be a spoiler. Instead of a more standard payload, which I was running into issues, my exploit remotely deleted a user, added that user back, made them an administrator, and then enabled RDP. At this point, I have 18 hours left and nothing but the DMZ remaining. Day seven. As of 11 a.m. on the seventh day, I obtained root level access in the DMZ, thus completing the testing part of the exam. All that was remaining was a bit more information and screenshot gathering and verifying that I found every vulnerability on the machines instead of just one. Then I had seven days to write the report from my 99 pages of unformatted screenshots and notes at this point. Reporting. While I don't have many notes on my report itself, I'll try to give an understanding of how it went. I started with 99 pages of screenshots and mostly unsorted and unformatted notes. From here, I sorted them, added headers, and began looking at sample penetration testing reports. All in all, my report ended up being 50 pages in total, including an executive summary, vulnerability report, remediation steps, and source code appendix. While writing the report wasn't that hard with all of my notes, it was still something very new to me and a valuable experience. The only real advice I could give on this is to take constant screenshots and notes, make sure you have a format in mind, and don't wait until the last minute. F with the follow-up, as of March 7th at 12.12 p.m., I received the following email. Our instructors at eLearn Security want to congratulate with you and award you with the eLearn Security Certified Professional Penetration Tester Certificate. You are now an ECPBT. I know this was an older post, but it was still one of my most popular ones and one that meant a whole lot to me. As always, you can definitely check out this video suggested by the YouTube algorithm or just click those like and subscribe buttons if you want to help me support the channel.